they were so nuts, man. But yeah. there's been so many instances like that in history of like groups of unbelievable savages that accomplished insane things yeah. just by th pure barbarism and slaughter of innocent people. Yeah. Like the Mongols. I was watching something about Mongolia today. There was these, uh, these guys who were fitness influencers went to uh, go um, experience these uh, Mon Mongolian wrestlers. And uh, these Mongolian wrestlers, like these giants of Mongolia, these fucking tanks, these dudes are throwing each other around and they got to like eat food with them and hang out with them and experience it. Like these, that's what's left over. Did you ever watch Marco Polo? No, I watched oh, a little bit great. of it. I watched the beginning it of it. But I don't know what happened. It didn't get, but it was really, really good at, at Genghis Khan. And mm. I think you've taught, it's like, isn't it one eighth of the world's population? 10%. Or yeah. I think like, he was dealing with I, Genghis Khan's it's son. I think he was dealing with Genghis Khan's okay, son. Was I think it was already, the, the empire was already in decline by that time. You know, it's like once Genghis Khan died, his sons took over, his family took over, and then it kind of fell apart after a while because yeah. you need a fucking psycho. Yeah. You need a guy who's got DNA. And what was the number, Jamie, when we last looked at, like, what percentage of the population in Asia has Genghis Khan's DNA? It's something nuts. Like 5% of everybody. So, like, still has it. This fucking guy who lived in, what, 1200? When did Genghis Khan live? I think it was 1200. Yeah. So all these years later, this dude has 5%. Wasn't it? Was it you and I that were talking about if you go back it? to like ancient yeah. Mesopotamia, it's only like 50 something humans ago. If you base it off people living to be 100. Yeah. It's not. It's nothing. It's nothing. Okay. It's, it's more than that. It's 5% of the male. Po excuse me. Zero point. Yeah. 5% of the male population worldwide. Half percent. Half percent. Right. Not 5%. Worldwide, but what is it in Asia? That is still crazy. 0.5% of the male population worldwide, but what is it in Asia? In Asia, I think it's nuts. 8% maybe? Is that what it says? Okay. 8%. That's nuts. So 750 years of Genghis Khan's heritage, th this mutation occurred in 8% <laughs> of males in 16 different populations wow. that were being studied. So one half of a percent of everyone on Earth... 8% of people that live there. That is insane. So, like, what was it like when he was alive? Was everybody fucking their cousin because you, like, couldn't help it? Because so Genghis crazy. Khan fucked everybody? So, yeah. he would, when they would conquer a town, he would take everyone's wife. Yeah. He would just kill all the men, fuck all the ladies. They all became his wives. Yeah. And he just yeah. did that everywhere well, he yeah, went. They, they, that was in, um, they did that in Ireland, too. The British, uh, royalty or uh, aristocrats would uh, would impregnate the irish men on the night of their wedding they would impregnate their wives oh jesus that was where uh, that's what braveheart was about he came back and uh, i'm blanking out on his name but fought for the irish to because they were basically raping their wives and making sure that they were raising british noble born instead of irish oh my god people. i just listened to a book on this that that's a, it's what's one of the myths that come from that not that it didn't never never happened but yeah. they said that it, it was it didn't really happen Jamie's a party pooper. You yeah. notice that? That was they were going this back. Uh, yeah, yeah. Jamie, <laughs> it was a great courses on Audible. It was going through all. But the and if you of, look like, at like they didn't really get into in the movie, but we when we did uh, Europe, we we did a tour where they were breaking down like how bad they tortured him and mutilated him in a public setting prior to killing him. William I Wallace. Mean, oh my God, it's brutal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's what brutal. what's the myth aspect of it? Oh, about the that they like raped the. Peasants' wives or whatever on their wedding days, it's like but, there might have been one king or a couple of like aristocratic type people that might have been dickheads and did it, but it wasn't like a thing that happened as regularly. Like a, as like a yeah, yeah. So it wasn't a pandemic of rape, right? There was a lot of raping going on. <sighs> well, there was a, like, a, like a, yeah. Custom, I mean, I if you go back long enough, it's all rape. Yeah, you know, like how far do you have to go back in human history? Like, was there any cave people that were like male feminists? <laughs> Right, it was fucking. It was they were barbaric. They killed yeah. each other. They stole wives. I remember reading this uh, book uh, about the Comanche, where they were talking about this one Comanche warrior who wanted this other Comanche's wife. So he killed the guy and ate a piece of his heart, and then took his wife. Like that was humans. Yeah. That's what uh, humans I'll did. I'll tell you. I know you had him on, but Empire of the Summer Moon. I'm so excited for that to come out as a as a series. Uh, if he's if. Who's directing it? Is that uh, uh, 
Taylor Sheridan? Yeah, Taylor yeah. Sheridan. And th- if they do it, and Taylor's so going to do it by the book. Yeah. I know Taylor. He'll do it by the book. By the way, he's got a great steakhouse. He just opened up in Vegas. Uh, the Four Sixes, Four Six Steakhouse. I think it's like a pop-up right now, but we ate at it last time we were in Vegas. It's fucking great. It's all meat from his ranch. What yeah, a cool that's guy. Sick. That's cool sick. guy. Got his own yeah. ranch. Supri- yeah. Makes a steakhouse. Yeah. Supplies the meat. It's fucking He's incredible. brilliant. And then he also leases the horses and the livestock and all of that to Paramount. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, and his ranch he leases to Paramount, which is brilliant because he is a real cowboy with real cowboys that he – and I lo- also love that he casts real cowboys into the subsidiary roles or the supporting roles of Dude, the shows. Dude, he's, he's a cowboy at a ranch a friend of mine works at in California. Oh, really? Yeah. He, like, did real cowboy work. Oh, that's before he ever well, made if you it, watch in show him business. on a horse when he's doing oh, yeah. all his crazy horse stuff. I mean, it's oh, yeah. it's wild how yeah. awesome his horses are that he's trained. He's a great podcast guest too. Very interesting guy. Super fucking smart. And those those shows, the, all the Yellowstone shows are fucking incredible. And the new ones are the best ones. Like if you go to like from Yellowstone was great, and mm. then there was. Uh, 1883 was great. Yeah. And then the last one, the 1923, yeah. the Harrison Ford one, yeah. that's fucking great. Yeah. They're all great. They just get better. It was, I think they, 1883 they, is the most recent, and that's my favorite. That's the one when they were, yeah. the family was making a cross. Yeah. I love because it shows how, it, it just shows the reality of how hard life was. I yeah. mean, it was brutal for everyone, for everyone there. Like, God, it was Unbelievable. brutal times. And so accurate. Like, so accurate as to how people died and what they what they dealt with. And fuck, man, people falling off wagons, getting run over by the wheels, like that kind of shit. That's like, why if Jesus. you've ever played Oregon Trail in, in elementary school, or it, that's what they had when I was in elementary school, and you, I would always die of syphilis or dysentery. I would never survive. Dysentery or, uh, what was it, dysentery, and uh, or you get killed by Indians or whatever it is. But you look at how statistically unlikely it is that we're all here. Right. And I got to believe it's for a reason. We got to be here for something, right? We got to be, and, and I don't well, want us to squander at the very it. least, if we're not here for something, at the very least, we can maximize our time here. You know, the, one of the things, the reason why this is very important to me is uh, everything I do, I need energy. Everything I do. Mm-hmm. I need a lot of energy. I need a lot of energy to do stand-up. I need a lot of energy to do jujitsu. I need a lot of energy to do archery. I need a lot of energy to do podcasts. I need a lot of energy to do UFC shows. If you're weak and tired, you won't be as good at anything you do. 